Alan Armstrong's former side visit Blackwell Meadows this afternoon as his current side look to make it five unbeaten for the first time this season. Alan makes three changes to the 11 that beat Chorley a week ago, bringing in Joe Wheatley, Jarrett Rivers and Alex Perver, with Will Hatfield and Danny Rose dropping to the bench and Junior Mondal injured. New signing Cameron Thompson makes the bench. For the visitors, plenty of familiar names in the starting lineup and on the bench for a side that have lost five of the last six as Alex Mitchell, Michael Liddle and Robbie Dale come in with Jordan Watson dropping to the bench and Alex Curran and Tony Lees out. Referee's making sure everyone's in the correct place. There's a few fans just making their way to the tin shed and dial it and get us underway. Ball's played back to Jake Lawler who plays a high hanging ball forward for Dalek to attack and the wind's already blown uh, the ball over the first Blythe head there so Joe Whitney picks it up plays it to Callum Griffiths Griffiths looking for the runner of Rivers Rivers gets a touch O'Neill almost got on that inside the box and then Blythe playing out from behind short back pass it's a uh, tackle there it's going to bounce on the goal line can Darling get a touch not Ooh. quite <laughs> Alex Purvis sliding in and that almost uh, gave Darling the lead almost quite an assertive shape about Darling today mm. Griffiths plays the ball down looking for Rivers, Rivers drops it off, Griffiths sees the run through from Wheatley, Wheatley's going to get there just around a second after the goalkeeper, the ball's with Rivers, Rivers back to Dos Santos, goalkeeper still oh. out of his box, Dos Santos puts the ball into the six yard box but it's cleared by Blythe and Michael Little takes the ball on his chest and just clears it down the line, came a long way out there Alex he Mitchell did. but he did well. Just a shame when that dropped to Rivers, he had his back to goal, he could well have... Rivers that one into an empty net to Dos Santos Dos Santos and Griffiths Griffiths's cross is blocked and from Little throw in taken quickly back to Rivers Rivers Darlin kicking towards the tin shed Rivers gets to the byline gets the cross across O'Neill gets a touch on it he's trying to turn can't get the shot away yet he's got two defenders around him shout for a penalty for a tug but I think it was well defended mm. O'Neill just couldn't quite get the shot away just it. Blythe come back into this game Ooh. a little bit last five minutes nice little step over there by Nicky Deverich Deverich I think if Lambert had read that balls forward by Blythe right hand side he's got beyond his man comes into the box Maguire gets a touch on it's going to come to Dale on the edge but uh, Rivers gets a toe in but he's had to concede the corner mm. sorry Mike I was just thinking now when Deverich let that go Lambert was right behind him I think if Lambert had read that he was about to do it he could have nipped in and stolen that away 25 minutes gone still no goals to report from Blackwell Meadows Corner's taken left footed, out swinging to the penalty spot, and there's a blithe header on it, but uh, there's two or three yards wide. Mitchell takes a touch, switches it onto his left feet, and then clears it. It's headed forward, and blithe again have the runner, which in this case is McEwen. Ball is uh, going to find its way through to Tommy Taylor in goal, though. Good work by Griffiths there coming in. And McEwen had that. Wheater finds. Uh, Lawler, Lord Blythe pressing high up the pitch now but Darling can get away with it and now they've got beyond a few players they've got a chance to attack here Blythe pressed Darling and worked it around them and that's going to be a free kick for Darling Dos Santos has been chopped down there yeah. but no interest it would seem in the, the ball there just more or less literally from here it looks like Kevin Dos Santos over I'm going to ask you to do double marks here because you, you've got your pen out and I haven't got my pen out yet. <laughs> <laughs> so to put, your, put your mark of your yellow card on both team sheets at the same time. Can do, because that is indeed what Carl Byrne has just been shown. The game's first yellow. And I don't think he can have too many complaints. Darlington countered and the outcome is this free kick three or four yards outside the, 80, the corner of the 18-yard box on the left-hand side. Ben Headley stood over it. Darlington have sent both centre-backs forward. Headley's on it, takes the shot. Just a couple of yards wide, I think. And how long do you leave it before putting the flag up, I think, as well. Darlington in possession through Lawler and then Wheater. Both centre-backs comfortable on the ball today. Wheater just plays one forward, looking for O'Neill. O'Neill was the header, he's got Rivers running off him. It's Buddle who has to slice the ball high up in the air behind his own goal. Lambert's going to take it. Lambert takes it in swinging under the crossbar all the way on the outside. It's headed clear at the first attempt. It finds the edge of the box. Griffiths chops one forward. O'Neill's won the header in front of the goalkeeper and he was cleaned by mm. the goalkeeper. I think they were both making an honest attempt for the ball, but definitely yeah, contact. Both sides, having a, both sides having a word with the referee there. Certainly gone up looking to win the ball and uh, he's come off second best. He's up now, though. Yeah, O'Neill landed... 
I think it, it was there to be competed for. Absolutely. Darlow players may be asking for a penalty. Blythe players wondering whether it should be a free kick, but ultimately it was a goal kick, so neither side got what they were asking for. Ball picked up by Perver, plays it through, flag stays down, O'Neill's through the middle, he's got a man to the left if he can find him, it's Jack Lambert, edge of the box, Tor pokes the ball, just past the post. Throw in right hand side, a few yards up from the corner flag, finds Dos Santos, Dos Santos takes a touch, got two defenders around him, tries to go through the middle, does go through the middle, pulls it back, chance for the shot from Wheatley, Wheatley's oh. in the, the post, bounces back out and it's going to be cleared. Well, attack still on there with Ben Headley. Wheatley almost getting the opener. Ball played into the box. Dos Santos chests it down. Dos Santos trying to get there ahead of his man. It's uh, blocked down and behind for a goal kick. Mike, sum that one. Superb effort from Wheatley. It was him and Perver both running in on that together. And in the end, Perver leaves it for Wheatley and he wraps his right foot round it. Bending the whole time away from Mitchell. He wasn't getting near it, but unfortunately the goal's just not quite wide enough. And it comes back off the post and that is absolutely the closest either side has come to an opening goal in this first half. Dos Santos is a little box of tricks, isn't he, he when was, he gets the ball? He had two men around him there and he just played it yeah. through the middle of them and, and uh, Alex Mitchell, George Jake says we're back again, there so that's go. all right there. No, no panic, everyone, no panic. Ball is uh, rolled out underarm and uh, Blythe playing the ball down there, left-hand side. Good strong challenge gets the ball forward and O'Neill drops it off to Dos Santos Dos Santos attacking his man bobbling on that pitch again and runs past his man ball comes back out to Griffiths who had the shot surprised everyone there he but did. Mitchell was ready for it had his body behind rather stung the palms of Alex Mitchell that one straight into his midriff but he was ready thanks all to Scouse Spartan who's listening as well telling us the sound's fine hope you're enjoying the commentary I don't think there's a Blythe live today so I'm afraid we're the best you've got. No goals to bring anyone yet. Blythe on the ball, playing a one down the line, but it's going to take a bounce and be picked up by David Wheater, who's been imperious so far for the Quakers. Plays the ball down the line. Flag stays down. It's Rivers who's broken the offside trap. He's got to the corner of the 18-yard box. Going to have a shot. Can't hit the target. Via a back pass from Buddle back to the goalkeeper, Mitchell. And then uh, Dos Santos is going to now press the ball high up the pitch and force the ball playing long O'Donnell's picked that one up he had a lot of space there yeah, O'Donnell not the cleanest clearance I'd have been pressuring that he was just left alone to go and get it on his own ball is coming down the left hand side for Blythe now they're kicking towards the tin shed in the second half it's first time into the box Lawler heads it comes to the edge of the box goal bound shot there well saved by Taylor yeah. tidy goalkeeper you'd say a medical emergency, I think, behind the goal. I think, I think we have. So uh, Danny O'Connor's on his way behind that goal. It's in the area where some of those Blythe uh, Spartans fans were, but, I mean, it's a mixture behind there. Yeah, there's a steward Did down behind a, a crowd of bodies. Looks to be helping someone. Stewards and medical professionals over there dealing with the situation. Nathan Buddle climbs back over the fence. That's Jordan Watson over there with him. There's definitely somebody receiving some medical treatment down there. I think there's a police officer in close attendance. But again, not really in any particular rush, walking rather than running. And the players now look to be taking their positions for a resumption, are we? I think the game looks as though it's going to be underway. They're maybe just going to check that this spectator is is safe and thoughts with that supporter we hope they make a full recovery from whatever has just happened hope everything i hope everyone is well wish everybody well there ball is uh, there the tin shed uh, decided to pump up a bit of volume to get darlington encouraged forwards again here ben headley plays a ball over the top it's uh, going to be an interesting one to run onto there lambert got beyond his man he's been taken down the referee's given it the opposite yeah. direction and the assist back up a lot quicker than Lambert who's still feeling his back a bit there the referee's waving the uh, medical professionals on but obviously they're still dealing with the incident behind the goal so he's, uh, he's beckoning for a physio when there isn't one there hmm. but Jack well, Lambert's gone how, how he, uh, I, I'm, I think the referee's been very very good today no criticisms at all apart from that one there I think, I think he got the wrong got way around actually wrong. Stewart back on the field, just having a word with the referee. Like the head, that's the head steward. Mm. 
Has he taken everyone off? I think he might be, you know. He's taken he everyone off for some reason. So I'm not sure why. We just got back underway. It looked yeah. like the situation was under control. Taylor takes the free kick. It's good distance on it. And the second ball is going to be there for O'Neill to take the touch, which he does. Drops it off to Griffiths. Griffiths plays the ball across to the left to Kevin Dos Santos. First touch takes it past his man. He's got to the edge of the box. Kevin Dos Santos drops a shoulder, goes round. Ball comes to Perver. Perver to shoot. Good block. It's well blocked. That that wasn't didn't yeah. look as if it was going far away. Again, most of the good things that Darlton have done have come from Kevin Dos Santos mm. today. Yep, chested that down, got away from his man and charged towards the edge of the area. Just couldn't find the room for a shot. Tinshed walking from the slumber, corner to the Quakers. It's deep, all the way across. Lawler wins the header. And uh, keeper catches it under his crossbar there. Ten minutes North. to go. Uh, no, there's more than that, isn't there? I'm just trying to remember what time was on the, the watch when Balls the 20 went up. Headley. Headley plays it across to Griffiths. Nice ball from Headley. Griffiths. Uh, in midfield territory, plays it wide to Rivers, who's playing as an orthodox right winger now, really. Rivers gets the cross in. It's, uh, oh, it's flicked back towards his own goal by uh, one of the Blythe players. That was safely uh, into the arms. Davidich. Safely into the arms of Mitchell. The sort of finish that goes viral if a striker does it, but a defender scoring an own goal like that. Come on, darling, one bit of, one bit of something here. That's it, one bit of quality. That's all it needs. Taylor plays the ball forward. Cassidy lets it go past him and hoping that Dos Santos could get on it. Dos Santos has closed his defender down well. Still think Dos Santos has been one of the brighter mm. sparks for Darlington today. Hatfield gets the ball 30 yards from goal. Comes back, finds Perva. Perva finds Cassidy, takes the ball to, to his feet. Plays the ball wide. Good play from Cassidy, finds Griffiths. Griffiths with a chance to cross. Cross comes in. It comes off a defender behind for a corner. I wonder if he'd maybe caught a knock. He's trying to say that there was. To he's sent to say the referee back. that there was an elbow there, but obviously we didn't see that. He's back up anyway. Darling with the corner. Rivers to take. About the six-yard box. Wheat arises highest. Ball comes back to Perver. Perver to Lawler. Lawler heads it across. It's headed to clear. Comes to Hatfield. Hatfield, his shot is blocked. Darlington starting to just create the first little bit of pressure mm. in this second half. Back to Hatfield, Hatfield to Headley. Headley back to Hatfield. Hatfield driving forward, runs through the gap. Goes past his man, Hatfield has the shot, it's pushed away, it's took a deflection, it's come back out, it's back in. Flag stays down. I haven't got a clue who's put <laughs> that in in there, but Darlington have got the breakthrough. I think Wheater might have toe poked it on the line, it may already have been over the line. Tommy Taylor's come all the way to the other end of the pitch to join in the celebration. It's Jake Lawler. Solo lead, and it's Jake Lawler who gets the telling touch, is it? The ball came off the goalkeeper, it hit somebody, it's, it's hit the corner of the post and crossbar and Jake Lawler has put it in from a yard or two out and that is the breakthrough that Darlington needed the uh, the Blythe fans are th I don't know what the, the Blythe <laughs> players are complaining or they might be complaining about an offside I don't know well, I don't I, we didn't get a claim I mean, we, we have no idea how long's left we didn't initially have any idea who scored that it is 1-0 there's no doubt about that the Quakers are leading well, let's and comment on, uh, on Will Hatfield there because yeah. it was his driver run into the box that created the chance and the shot was pushed back out. And to be honest, we're sketchy on, we're sketchy on the details of what happened after that. But all credit to Will Hatfield. The one in the capable fact is it's now Darlington 1, Blythe 0. Blythe get us straight underway, take the throw in. Now we have reached referee checking his watch stage, although he might have been doing that for ages, but this is the first time I've seen him. Ball played left to Jordan Watson for Blythe. Clock is certainly ticking as far as they're concerned. Ball with Devadich now, played forward. Played down, Blythe trying to create a chance. They're inside the box here. Down, have some defending to do. Just whistled past the Tommy Taylor's left-hand post and that's the closest that, that Blythe have come all day. Just for a second there. 1,509 people held their breath for different reasons. But it fizzes just wide of Tommy Taylor's post. And the Quakers survive. One of those moments where you realise how thin a one-goal mm. lead is, isn't it? Yep. How quickly it can be taken away. It almost was there. Referee's looking at his watch. Picks the ball up and uh, earns, doesn't earn down the throw. It's a throw into Blythe, actually, which is taken quickly. Referee gets us on with the game. 
Balls with Blythe down the left hand side. Pervers in there to disrupt and play the ball back up to the halfway line. Cassidy chasing a lost cause. Ball over the top is headed clear by Lawler. Big cheer from the tin shed as he does so. Balls on the edge of the box again though for Blythe. Chance uh, 25 yards out for the overlap. Overlaps there. Blythe still trying to find some space. Still no full time whistle. Balls uh, clipped into the box again. Keeper comes. Keeper punches. Come to the Blythe player on the edge of the box. It's hooked back goal bound. It goes over the bar. And there we are. Cheers all around Blackwell Meadows here. So there you go. Three in a row for the Quakers. The referee blows his full time whistle, and uh, Darlington have won by the narrowest of margins. 1 0. Jake Lawler with the goal deep into the second yeah, half. Mike, sum that one up. At some point, this. Well. The Quakers deservedly on top in the first half were unable to capitalise on it. A game that was then interrupted in the second by a medical emergency. We continue to hope for the recovery and the, the well-being of that supporter. The game flattened a bit after that as we moved into what ended up being about 20 minutes, 25 minutes of added on time in quotes at the end of the game. Jake Lawler popping up at some point during that. We, you know, it could well be a hundred and something minutes with the goal that ultimately told the, made the difference. The Quakers have three points and three in a row and two clean sheets in a row as well. And we'll travel to York on Tuesday night, feeling like they might get something from that one as well. But uh, very much a case of we got there in the end in more ways than one today.